First, choose your mounting option, either the Hercules head or the swivel mount. To use the Hercules head, attach it to the K-Pod by placing the head onto the K-Pod, attaching the cup washer, and securing by tightening the handle. You can also lock out ball leveling by flipping the cup washer to the flat side. When mounting to a Hercules head, make sure the locking pin is in place to lock out all tilting functions. Next, remove the handle. It won't be needed. Mount the Hercules head using any center holes two at a time. Secure the pocket jib to the Hercules head with the knobs, making sure that the jib's control arm is hanging off of the side of the Hercules head. Attach the swivel mount to the K-Pod by placing it onto the K-Pod and attaching the cup washer and securing by tightening the handle. When mounting to the swivel mount, use any of the diagonal holes from corner to corner. Place the pocket jib over the studs in the swivel and secure with knobs. After attaching the pocket jib, extend the ball mount by loosening the knobs, swinging it out 180 degrees and tightening it back in place. Next, extend the tailstock by loosening the knobs on each side, sliding the tailstock out and tightening it into position and loosening the weight bar clamping knob. Do this on both sides. Finally, attach your head of choice on the end of the crane by placing the head onto the ball mount attaching the cup washer, and securing by tightening the handle. One of the unique features of the pocket jib is the telescoping arm, which allows you to go from a three-foot reach to a five-foot reach, or two increments in between, by simply loosening the knobs, sliding them into place, and tightening. With the pocket jib fully extended, it is just under the reach of the KC-8. Another unique feature is the full drag controls on the pan and tilt of the crane. By tightening the knob, it will increase the drag giving you fluid resistance to work against on the tilt as well as the pan. Also, the pocket jib features a very robust braking system that will lock it into any position. The final feature we'll discuss is the ability to mount the pocket dolly on the pocket jib. First, remove the two stainless bolts from the cross braces of the pocket jib. Align the holes and secure. To prevent unwanted dolly movement, install the optional brake. 